Hello, my best town friends and ladies. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark the Punk here. It is now time to do with some punishment, shall we? Hello, my best town friends and ladies. And, uh, whoa. So, this is gonna be my very first action movie review that I'm doing right now. As you're looking at the title right now, yes, I'm reviewing the 2004 Punisher movie. And, uh, yes, this is the extended cut that I'm reviewing, which adds 17 more minutes of the footage in this movie. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. If you guys follow on my top 10 most favorite superheroes, yes, Punisher is one of them. He was my number one favorite, as you can tell by these issues. So there you go. I have a few of them. Some Warzone issues as well. And, uh, as you can tell, I'm a huge fan. So, so I'm really getting excited to review the Punisher 2004 movie. And I will talk about the features that are on this extended cut version at the end of this review too. It'll be really interesting. And okay guys, I'm gonna start off with the positives about this movie, 2004 Punisher movie. Um, this is my very first action movie I'm reviewing for you guys. So. Anyway, what, what can I say for the positives, um, positives about this movie? <clears throat> This movie actually takes place here in Florida, but it's really cool. Not only it's here in Florida, it's in Tampa, Florida. That's where it's originally filmed, which is awesome. So that's cool about that, since I live in Florida. And another thing, and this movie does heavily base on the Welcome Back Frank series of comics. That's where originally they had the movie idea for. Not the original um, origin story in like the 80s timeline of, timeline of the comics, to be honest. But it's still a good origin. And, uh... Oh! One of my most favorite um, main characters in the whole movie is frickin' Thomas Jane as the Punisher. And he's one of the best actors to play the Punisher, so... Out of all three, he's the best one out of the group. With his best lines right here. Not only um, Thomas Jane as the Punisher is in this movie, um, there's also freaking Kevin Nash as the Russian. The former WCW wrestler and WWE wrestler is in this freaking movie as well. So that's pretty damn cool. He made he made his uh, appearance in that movie as well, which is cool. Not only they're um, I think are the best actors in this movie. Um, yeah, there's plenty of action and kills in this one too. For example, some clips for you guys. Not only it has the best action and kills in this movie, um, I gotta mention one more positive about this movie. The soundtrack, especially. This, the, the soundtrack for this movie kicks fucking ass. If you're not, if you never heard of the soundtrack, please look it up. It might be on Amazon Music, whatever, streaming, wherever you can find this on Punisher album, Punisher soundtrack. And it's pretty kick ass in my opinion. There's some good. Um, artists on there, which is Johnny Cole, Chevelle, Smile Empty Soul, um, who else? Adam Ship is on there for the Killing People song, which I like. Also, Kane's, um, 2004 theme is on this soundtrack as well. Soul Chemical song's cool. Great songs on the soundtrack, I gotta mention that. And, uh, wow, so... I think that's all the positives about the Punisher 2004 movie, guys. So, 
I'm actually going to move on to the next part of this review. Um, mostly the acting is hit or miss with me on these characters. Mostly, um, his fucking lackey is the main villain. Um, not much acting in, in, in this one. They're just here to be cannon fodder, to be killed by the Punisher, obviously. So, they're fucking cannon fodder in this movie. A bunch of fucking lackeys. And, uh, yeah, some of the acting is hit, hit and miss. So, to, it went to decent, to kind of, eh. It's like, meh. That's why I have my mixed opinion about the acting. But some of it's kind of decent, some of it's not. So... That is my mixed opinion about this. And finally, guys, I will have to move on to the negatives about this movie. Um, I don't, I'm not really a fan of Ben Foster as um, Spacker Dave in that movie. He, uh, not only has, he has bad acting, I'm just not a fan of him. Um, he's kind of weird. So that's my negative about this movie. I don't think he should have belonged in this movie. I know he's in the comics, in the original comics, but uh, I'm not a fan of him, so. Also, out of all of the negatives, um, the main villain of this movie is John Travolta, plays as um, Howard Saint. Not a great main villain, to be honest, guys. Um, I'm not really a fan of John Travolta at all. And then he became the fucking fanatic in that, oh my god, that poor excuse for a movie. Where did that end up? Holy crap. Um, uh, I'm not really invested in that main villain, guys. I'm sorry. He's not that good. And uh, I think that's all negatives I can think about it. And uh, I don't know. All right, so I have all my opinions on positive, mixed, and negatives. What can I give this movie, a um, new action movie, for the Punisher 2004? Um, I'm going to actually give it four 1911s out of five. So, it's still a pretty good action movie. I would watch it every once in a while because Punisher. So, I really like Thomas Jane on all the kick ass actions, the one liners, especially the soundtrack. Yeah, everything in the mix is all the acting is hit, hit or miss. And, uh, do not like the main villain and it's back again. So, oh boy. And uh, yeah, that's my that's my rating, guys. It's a four 1911s out of five. So there you go. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about the special features are on this in the extended cut that is not in the original theatrical edition. Yeah, I've already explained over 17 minutes of additional material. There's animated uh, Kawhi Wait deleted scene. And uh, the Punisher comic book gallery, which is cool. That's a added feature. There's the making of featurette movie, the making of the movie. And uh, I wish there was more special features on here, but I don't see any more. That's what I'm reading in the back of this co um, cover. So there you go. If you can find and stream this movie, and uh, or get the actual copy of it like I did, so, whatever you want to do, Netflix it, whatever, you guys watch nowadays. So, uh, oh boy, guys. Yeah, I really enjoyed this movie, guys. It's one of my favorite m movies I can watch every once in a while when I'm in an action mood. And, uh, this is one of the best Punisher movies out of all three of them. And... Just to let you guys know, I'm not reviewing the 1981, uh, 1989 version. That one fucking sucks. And I'm not reviewing the Warzone one either. Because that sucks. Although the Warzone has more gore in, than the 2004 movie. But still, I'm not reviewing that one either. But I hope you best sound friends and ladies enjoy this new action movie review. I hope it gets a lot of response from you guys. And Thomas Jane fans as well, and you can you guys can watch the short clip of the dirty laundry video that Thomas Jane was also in. It's on YouTube right now, and uh, I will happily end this action movie review here. So subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell to get notified of the next video and comment or like about this. 
And uh, most importantly, share this video so I get more views and subscribers. And I will see you best on friends and ladies on my next movie review. So, uh, stay punishing, guys. Call me the Punisher.